Hey guys, Paulie Howard. I'm with Fox Sports Radio for the card Monday, August 1st. Before I tell you what I'm betting, time to rant and run. Great finish of the PGA Championship. All four winners were first-time major winners this year. Walker goes wire to wire. First time since Phil did that in 2005 at the PGA. And he only had three birdies on the final round, but didn't have a bogey. And that was good enough to win. Just getting out of there with a par. And only three birdies. Two of them were miracle birdies with the chip in from the beach and also the long putt to uh, make birdie as well. Day put the pressure on him with the eagle on 18 and Walker needed to save par on 18 after the uh, the bad second shot where Nance called him out using the three wood but he gets it done and it looked like Stenson was going to make a run as well till he had the double. So a lot of guys, I thought, I thought Matsuyama and Grace could have won the damn thing too. Grace had a birdie putt on almost every hole. He fell apart on the, on the back nine uh, at least out of contention to win it. And Matsuyama missed so many birdie putts. That guy could have won too. I mean, at one point, I know somebody who had him 50 to 1. He had missed uh, eight putts inside seven feet. Got to be kidding me. I mean, he could not make a putt to save his life. And Matsuyama was close as well. So a great finish to the majors and the PGA. I'll tell you what's funny. When we come back for the Masters next year, we're looking at a nine year drought, major drought for Tiger Woods. So who even who knows if he'll play? in that one. Great finish to the card last night in Major League Baseball. The Cubs were down 6 nothing against King Felix and down 6-3 in the ninth and they rally to win in extra innings and John Lester gets the game winning RBI. First time the Cubs were down 3 plus runs and one since 2008. They had lost 371 consecutive games when facing that situation. They win the series. Uh, they have the Marlins who come into town next. Seattle at home against the Red Sox, who were down 3 nothing in the ninth on the road with two outs against the Angels, and they win, split that series as their West, uh, ro- West Coast road trip continues. Huge win for the Red Sox in that one. Trade deadline today, see if there's some more moves that get done, and then it'll be something to watch on MLB Network as that goes up to one Pacific time coming up. And Draymond Green sends out a picture of his junk on social media. Unbelievable. At first he said he was hacked, then he told the truth. It was supposed to go to a. It was supposed to be private, and he sends it out to the world. Rough off season for that cat. All right, time to tell you what I'm betting. Uh, Bruce, uh, excuse me, Stephen Over on a 14 and four run with the three star picks. He's got a big MLB pick up there today. You'll want to grab that with uh, Mr. Nover. We had a horrible loser yesterday. Nothing the pros could agree on today. We'll be back with something on Tuesday. As always, betting half a unit on the free play. Let's give out two. Can you believe I'm saying it? Right around the corner. Koken likes the Packers Sunday. This is free play. And also Bruce Marshall likes the Red Sox tonight. Read their full write-up and analysis and get all the free picks up at pregame.com. I've ranted. Now I'm going to run. Good luck out there. We'll talk to you Tuesday on pregame.com.